Hey guys, this is Mark Garin. I'm out here in Ashland, Oregon, exercising my right and keeping bare arms. I'm with Drew, and I'm carrying my pistol and my AR-15, if you can see it. And we just got done talking with a police officer, really good guy. We have a little chit chat. But besides that, here's Drew. He, he likes to express his opinion of the day. Thanks, Warren. I am Drew. I've got a radio show called Double Cross Radio on UCY.TV. Uh, I'm carrying my Argentine FM90 high power. 9 millimeter. Uh, we just had an encounter with, I wouldn't even call it an encounter, we Check went and spoke with Officer Smith from the Ashland Police Department and uh, had a great experience with him, which I think is typical of yeah. the, the Ashland Police Department. I think those are some really good guys and uh, they seem to be very respectful of uh, uh, the Second Amendment and uh, individual rights and Fresh freedoms. opinions and everything. They're exactly, awesome. yeah. Yeah, I think that that was a great encounter. What did we spend, like, 45 yeah, minutes Yeah, we've been just 45 minutes just chit-chatting about so much other stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, he was just a really great guy, and, and I wish we'd had more time. I mean, he got called away. There yeah. There was an alarm call, there, I think, yeah. over on First Street or something that yeah. he had to run over to. Yeah. So I've been interviewing Warren for my radio show, and we were just doing an audio-only recording while we've been walking through downtown Ashland uh, with our firearms and uh, just talking about um, the, the Second Amendment and some of Warren's videos which are here on his channel, Marked Guardian. And uh, so it's overall it's been a pretty good experience. I think for the most part, you know, people don't pay any notice to us. There's a couple of people walking around. Yeah, generally when we walked around, I mean Ashland is the biggest uh, I mean, the most crowded city you can go to in Southern Oregon, mm -hmm. Jackson County. And you can walk around, and sure, it might be a couple stairs from drivers, but generally when you're walking down the street, you know, people see my AR-15, they just walk by, they kind of glance at it, maybe they call the officers. The officers here, like, they immediately formed, I'm pretty sure of it, by the uh, dispatcher saying, yeah, it's legal to carry a firearm, but we'll send someone to observe it. And they did. Absolutely excellent job. He drove by, which was, what's his name, John? The officer's name? Uh, it was Officer Smith. Smith? I, Smith? I can't remember his I can't, first name. Yeah, I can't I didn't, remember. Actually, I didn't catch his first name at all. Yeah. Well, Officer Smith, he drove by, just glanced, and just you know, parked somewhere and just kind of re relaxed for a little bit. And, you know, we were chatting a little bit, saying, hey, let's go out and talk to him. You know, just have a nice conversation. You know, get involved with the police officer, be like, you know, a good community and good morals. So we went up to him, we had an excellent conversation, and it went really good. He and knew Drew, who you were, too. Yeah, he yeah. remembered you from your encounter yeah, I know. Uh, over by Safeway. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think was a great encounter. I mean, yeah. I, I thought that that was a textbook example yes. of how it ought to be when, when a citizen has a firearm. Yeah. I mean, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember if somebody called or not. Had somebody called? He said there were some calls. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's their duty to check things out, yeah. see what's going on. They see you and they're like, oh, you know, I think you just, you know, asked if it was locked. You know, if you had your safety on. Yeah, or and, no, which you don't have to. He's just no. he's just asking to see if you're sane. You just yeah. you know, it's like, oh, he's a good guy, just yeah. out here exercising Second Amendment. Yeah, yeah. So, but but I think uh, that was a real good encounter, and uh, I think that the Ashland Police Department is uh, um, very respectful of uh, personal rights very. and our freedoms, and and uh, they respect the Second Amendment and, and the I, First Amendment. Yes, the First Amendment right to freely express your opinions. So what do you think, do you think people should, you know, if they come to Southern Oregon, like Jackson County, do you think Ashland is a good place to settle? Oh yeah, I mean, th this is considered to be a very liberal community here, but uh, I moved down here in 1999 from Seattle, and, and I was born and raised in Southern Oregon, though, but um, I think it's a beautiful community. I actually prefer operating businesses here as opposed to Medford. Um, I, I think they're they're much more supportive of small business than Medford. I've had very bad experiences doing business in Medford, yeah. and so but, you know I, I very much recommend this place. Or, or really many of the places here in Southern Oregon, I think are wonderful places to live. And I've lived in Talent. You know, I lived in Talent for seven years. Uh, I live in East Medford right now, actually, but I still operate businesses here in Ashland. So I think it's a wonderful community here. Good. All right. Any last words? Uh, just uh, uh, make sure if you're going to open carry that you're aware of the, the rules and laws in, in your community and that uh, safety is uh, your primary concern. And freedom too. And tune in to Double Cross Radio on UCY.TV every Thursday at 7 p.m. And there will be a link under my YouTube channel of that website and YouTube account. All right, guys. You have a good day. Take care. Thanks, Warren. You're welcome.